<sighs> hi welcome back to Rebecca's Travels so if you're watching my lifestyle channel hi welcome back to Rebecca's Lifestyle hi how are you all doing I hope everybody's as well as possible and um, if you haven't subscribed to my travel channel and lifestyle channel on YouTube please subscribe a big thumbs up and thank you for doing so and um, today I'm going to be doing travel news uh, UK 5 exciting facts part um part three october 2024 so let's jump right into it and if you want to know um more about uh, these five exciting uk facts the latest news but news please keep watching so i'm going to jump right into number one um the metro.co.uk the met office unfortunately issues yellow web weather warning ahead of the rush hour travel commuters it should brave themselves for disruption across the road and rail networks uh, tonight after the met office uh, warned of heavy rain uh, the warning is in place in parts of Wales, South West, England and the North West from 7, oh sorry, from 6pm today until midday tomorrow and um, in Northern Ireland from midnight to 6am tomorrow. So again, if you've got... Um, any coaches um, or um, you need to drive slower on the roads or maybe take a different route um, or uh, public uh, transport like um, buses on ra at rails um, just make sure um, they're running um, and again you can visit Travel Iron um, and that will tell you whether your uh, transport um, again is running if you're not going by car but if you are driving obviously you need to take, uh, drive slow and take um, extra cautions and obviously plan your route um, as usual number two um the richmondshire today .co .uk, dales park authority launches active travel consultation people are being asked to share ideas how active travel routes and um, into the yorkshire dales at national park could be created or improved Active travel refers to journeys that involve some sort of physical activity like walking, cycling, and um, again wheeling. Um, um, roller skating, rollerblading, or whatever. Um, so, and it's how it can be improved um, in the area. Um, again which is a good thing um, so if people again want to keep active while they're travelling then they can do and also explore the national park number three daily express a teeny island has one of the UK's most remote pubs that you can only access by boat and um, the expert expert at hospitality payment company Dujo have compiled a list of UK's most remote pubs all of which are only accessible by boat wow so let's, let's see uh, what these are number one is the Holy Island um, in Northumbria known known as Lindus Farn can be uh, visited only at certain times um, of the tide so again usually the summer months the shipping offers overnight 
stays and enjoys some of the traditional pub fare so you can stay overnight if you want to at the ship in but it also um you can go for the traditional pub fare just a couple of hours if you wanted to number two pub to bar located off the teeny island of the west coast of Scotland, the bar closes in the winter season though um, and uh, number three, the seasonal, uh, the, the, sorry, number three, the second ship in is located Barrow and Farnet in Cumbria on the Teeley Island a Barrow in Furnace, sorry, Barrow in Furness and that's how you pronounce it the ship in and um, has 4.7 star on google reviews out of five and the island offers camping facilities as well so if you want to go camping then you can also go camping because again the island offers the facility and uh, number four last but not least at bees river bar is located on on the river 50p for a ferry ride the ferry um leaves bristol city center and drops off at, at the bees riverside bar um, which is basically five miles um out of bristol city center um so um, again and um, it'll be lovely to if you're in Bristol and you want to go on a ferry and then go to a pub and um, it'll be ideal or if you just wanted to go on the ferry trip then you can just say pass by the pub and again the ferry trip to get from Bristol City to the, the pub is only 50p which again is amazing amazing price number four the Daily Express and floor closure in at both directions unfortunately between at junctions 18 and 19 north of Bristol from 7 p.m. at Friday the 18th of October until Monday the 21st of October and um, it's uh, due to maintenance work on the A432 so um, again you would better be if you could take uh, well you would have to because it's closed in between those times a different route to get to your destination and uh, last but not least at metro.co.uk Stansted Airport is to get a mega 200 extra daily flights after a whopping 1 billion revamp wow so uh, passengers travelling from Stansted Airport will be able to uh, get uh, 200 extra daily flights or just more flights to choose from uh, to go to different countries um, that you wish to explore. So I would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now and I'll see you on Thursday um, for, uh, for um, an, another video on what's going to be um, going off in my local town uh, which um, according to the Colville Times um, has suggested a, a bowling alley apartments and um, a restaurant um, at the back of Emporium so I'm going to do a, vi um, a footage video on there they haven't started
building yet but there won't be until the new year but i'm just going to show you quickly show you the site um of, of where it's going to be allocated and um, in the town so i'll send us so i would like to say thank you for watching and bye for now thank you bye